Hi, kids. Look what I have. I have a dog. Her name is Lolly. Lolly is here to help us learn how to spell and read the word dog. Dog starts with the letter D. D makes a D sound. O makes a A sound. G makes a G sound. D O G spells dog. Let's sound it out. D A G. Put it all together, and what do you get? D A G. D A G. Dog. Dog. D O G spells dog. Yay! Congratulations! You've learned how to spell and read the word dog. Great job, guys. Keep it up. Let's spell the word cat. C A T spells cat. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Look what I have. I have a cat to help us spell the word cat. Now, the first letter in cat is C, and C makes a k sound. A makes a ah sound. T makes a t sound. Put it all together, and what do you get? Cat, cat, cat. You just learned how to spell and read the word cat. Good job. That's amazing. Hi, Asher. What sound does the letter S make? Very good. S. What sound does the letter P make? Very good. That's right. That's amazing. What sound does the letter E make? Eh, eh, eh. Very good. Eh, eh, e. Hey, Asher. What sound does the letter L make? Yeah, yeah. L, l. Nice job. Let's spell. Spell. S P E. L, L, spell. You spelled spell. Yay! Good job. Let's spell can. C, A, N. You spelled can. Yes, you can. You can spell. Awesome job, guys. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, let's spell one more word. What's something we wear on our heads? Hat. That's right. Great job. Let's spell hat. H A T. Hat. Yay! Please don't forget to subscribe to Asher's Day and click the bell. That way you won't miss out on new videos. Hi, kids. Welcome to Asher's Day. Let's learn some shapes today. So, there are going to be some shapes behind me, and I'm going to tell you what they are. Ready? Awesome. This is a heart shape. Heart. Heart. Call rhombus diamond. Rhombus. These are circles. This is a circle. Circle. These are squares. Square. A square has four equal sides. Now this is a rectangle shape. Rectangles have two sides that are longer than the other two. Rectangle. 
This is a triangle shape. Triangle. Oh. These are star shapes. Star. Wow. Look at all of those stars. Hey, you know what? You are a learning star. Yes, you are. Let's go through them again. Star. Heart. Circle. Square. Rectangle. Triangle. Great job, guys. Welcome to Asher's Day. Today we're going to be reading Where the Wild Things Are. Join us for story time with Asher on Asher's Day. So sit down and get cozy. We're about to begin. Where the Wild Things Are Story and Pictures by Maurice Sindak The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws till Max said, Be still! and tamed them with this magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop. Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely, and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day.
and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. We're all in this journey of life together. And sometimes we might cause a little mischief in one way or another. And although it might be fun to be in charge, it's also great to know that there's someone who loves you and will take care of you. It's also important to take care of yourself too. If you enjoyed this story, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. If you're not subscribed to Asha's Day already, well, what are you waiting for? We have all kinds of fun learning videos and songs, and we do new videos every Friday. So make sure you click that bell, and that way you won't miss out on any new episodes. All right, kids, see you next Friday. Bye.